All right, we uh, took that disconnector out of the P64. Now we can put it back in there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could even take your sear out. That's the little flapper piece. It's just held in with a pen. Uh, right now would be a good time to clean and lubricate your parts before you put it back together. So go ahead and get your disconnector. You'll see it makes an L shape. That little foot is going to point towards the right of the pistol. So in this view, it's facing me. You're just going to want to kind of put it down in there, turn it a little bit, and then let it fall down in place. So you just kind of get it in there just like that. It went in place there. Once you've got it in place, you're going to take your little piece that had the pin and the spring on it, the uh, fat side kind of pointing on the right here, that, that's going to be facing the right side of the pistol as well. You're going to need to take a set of needle nose pliers to get that in there. That pin is just going to go into the hole on the sear. So you go ahead and put that in there. Get your hole all lined up as you can see. Take your pin. Go ahead and get that pin started in there like so. And it'll all go into place. And you can see that you're going to want that pin to go all the way down in there like it's supposed to so that when you put your screw in that it holds that in place. Go ahead and get your screw in the spot. Get your screwdriver and tighten that down. You just want to make it snug, not overly tight so you don't strip it out because there isn't much to it. All right, once you got that in there, uh, kind of go ahead and make sure that your disconnector goes down, springs up. If you look in the little hole there, you can see it doing its work. Uh, go ahead and take your hammer, get your hammer in place, line that hole up, get your axis pin, put your axis pin in. That goes into place just like that. Take your strut bar, put it down in there on the bottom side of the hammer. Get that little hole right here lined up. So you can take your tiny pin, put that in place. All right, and that's all in there. Go ahead and cock your hammer back, remove your paper clip, whatever you used. Kind of make sure it's going to work out. All right, that's all together. Go ahead and let your trigger guard back down. Take the slide, put that all in place. Let your trigger guard down, take your grips, put your grips back on. And that's that's basically it. You're you're done and have it all put together. So, that's all.